We are Intero, accelerating integrity with inspection, industrial, and environmental services that meet the energy needs of today and tomorrow. In the hydrocarbon processing industry, time is of the essence, especially when reactors need to be cooled down and entered for turnarounds. An unassisted cooldown can take up to 10 days, which means 10 days of shutdown. That's unacceptable. That's why we offer three main types of high-tech and innovative accelerated cooldown procedures as part of our reactor services portfolio. Once through, with or without hot stripping, LN2 spike and LN2 cool, all based on the use of nitrogen, safe and secure. First, let's look at once through cooldown, used in systems where a recycle compressor is not available. It uses gaseous nitrogen to carry off the heat in the reactor. This method can be used for reactors of almost any dimension and in cases where liquid nitrogen is not an option. Once through cooldown usually starts with the customer stripping the unit with hydrogen to remove hydrocarbons from the catalyst. Or we hot strip the unit by pumping in hot nitrogen gas. Then we pump gaseous nitrogen through the reactors at a high flow rate, vaporized to the desired temperature. Thanks to our temperature control system, which gets its data from thermocouples applied to the reactor system, we are able to monitor the cooling process precisely. The second type of cooling is LN2 spike nitrogen cooling. LN2 spike reduces the cooldown time even more. Liquid nitrogen is pumped from the storage tank and vaporized to the ambient temperature. It is then mixed with liquid nitrogen from the pump unit in the cool-down skid to the desired temperature between minus 20 and minus 80 degrees Celsius. This gaseous nitrogen flow is mixed with the recycle compressor flow to the desired temperature before entering the reactor. The process is closely monitored and controlled by thermocouples from the LN2 spike skid. Our custom design system eliminates any risks previously associated with this method. Through specialized simulation software, innovative sparger design, and detailed planning, we have made nitrogen cooling perfectly safe and reliable. And finally, our fastest method of cooling, LN2 Cool. This method cools down the hot recycle flow from the recycle compressor until the desired temperature is reached by injecting liquid nitrogen in front of the reactors. The process is controlled and monitored by LN2 cool-down temperature skid. This method can eliminate downtime up to 7 days as compared to unassisted cooling. So let's compare the three methods side by side. All three are safe and reliable and eliminate downtime up to 70%. They support hot stripping, inert catalyst support, and catalyst reclaim. And in all cases, the reactor is purged with nitrogen. A difference though is that LN2 Cool and LN2 Spike use less nitrogen. And once through cannot be used when a recycle compressor is present. Also, with once through, an inline sparger is not an option. In general, this means once through is the most economical solution to cool down modern reactors without a recycle compressor. But if you want to know in detail what methods work for your hydrocarbon facility, get in touch. Intero, ever evolving solutions.